Praise God. This is Dr. Maureen with a powerful word today. And so I just want to talk to you about uh, what the Holy Spirit says about the, the gifts of the Spirit. This is the time of the Holy Spirit. He is the Spirit of truth. He is our guide. Um, the Bible says he's our intercessor. He uh, tells us what is yet to come. He's the Spirit of truth. And uh, he also tells us what God has freely given to us. And so um, the Bible says this in 1 Corinthians 12, 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I would not want you to be ignorant. And so talking about what God wants about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. When we're born again and then baptized in the Holy Spirit, that means we're covered in the Holy Ghost. We have been given nine gifts and that those gifts are to be operating in our life. And so when he says, I don't want you to be ignorant about the gifts that are in you. And that word ignorant means this, is indifferent or little thought towards it or no thought, passive, not expecting the gifts to move. One translation, it means uh, to be uh, ignorant and it means to be uh, no practical experience in your life and moving in the gifts. And so what the Lord was showing me was the word says uh, in, uh, in 12, at the end of 12, it says, you know, earnestly desire the spiritual gifts. And one translation says, uh, bubble up with passion for overflowing in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So it, 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 one says eagerly desire and so there is that uh, desire, that passion, that, that thought, that prayer uh, to allow the Spirit of God to flow. Why? Because people are hurting and we have something that we can give to them to set them free from their hurts, to be able to run their destiny. And we have the word of knowledge, word of wisdom in us. We have discerning of spirits. We have tongues and interpretation. We have prophecy. We have gifts of faith. We have gifts of miracles. We have gifts of healing in our lives. And the word of God says that, that, uh, that we should be able to, to lay hands on the sick and they will recover, that the blind will see, that the lame will walk, that the deaf will hear. Uh, that the leper to be cleansed, that freely we've received, we're freely to give what we have already been given. And you know, we're in the Abrahamic covenant. And so what it says there, that God has now already um, made our name great, has already made us a great nation, and has already blessed us to be a blessing. And so my prayer is daily to meditate on the gifts of the Holy Spirit, to, uh, to visualize and see that uh, heart disease goes and diabetes goes and depression goes off of people's lives. And God, that, that my passion and is for the other. It's not about me, but it is for the body of Christ to not be in pain or hurting or, or devastated. And so I pray that God, divine connections for your purpose. Wherever you take me, let me be a voice in what you want me to do in touching a life. And so I really encourage you, the gifts of the Holy Spirit is making us mindful and having compassion for those that are entrapped in prison and knowing that I have within me to give to them to free them. So be blessed. Uh, this is Dr. Maureen, and I just say go to the Word for Winners and uh, and uh, just go there to my web and let it be a blessing. Have a great day.